Good morning, boys and girls. Today is Tuesday, April 28th, 2020. How are you? So glad to be with you. I have had a couple questions. People did not realize that I had a pet cat. I have a pet dog and I have a pet cat. His name is Casper and people asked me when I got him. They thought I, some of the students thought I just got him since we last saw each other in March. That is not the case. Uh, I've had Casper for five years and I thought I would give you the story of how Casper came to be this morning. We had at the time two dogs. One was a greyhound named Izzy and we had my boy uh, Jake who is a black lab mix. And we also had another cat Tupelo who was very sick and old. Hmm, at least I made it into the story. You had to mention that I was old. I was sick. Can't you just give me my cameo and my moment of spotlight before the kitchen started playing with all my toys and eating my food? And it was one of those sort of really cold nights. And I was watching TV. It was right before Christmas. I remember that the Christmas tree was up and it was really super cold, like that type of cold that you don't want to go outside on. Oh, humans, they never get it right, do they? Oh, she left out the most important part of the story. It was about a month prior, and I saw these two people walking two dogs, and I thought to myself right then and there, you're not a feral cat. You need a home. And those two people and those two dogs, they're going to be your owners, not the dogs, that is but the two humans would be mine. Oh, what fun I had. They were walking across from St. Francis's Hospital and I was living in the parking garage at the time. I weaved in and out of the doorways and windows. Oh, those dogs, they carried on such silly beasts. When they rounded the corner, I went into stealth mode. I followed them home and I recorded in my memory that house. I knew I'd return. I'd return and make it my home. Silly humans. They had no clue, but I found them. Mm. And all of a sudden I heard, meow, meow. I turned the mute down, I muted the TV. I didn't hear anything. So I turned the TV back on. I'm watching my show. I hear meow, meow, the TV again. Sit, I don't hear anything. And just as I was about to turn it on, I hear meow, meow. So I decided to look outside. I knew that our older cat was inside. I saw him, I saw two below around, but I wanted to make sure everything was okay. So I opened the door and I look around and there's nobody there, there's no cat. But I look over to the right and at the time we were living in Wilmington, close to where St. Anthony's Church is. And we had a house that was connected to ours. So it's called like a duplex. So there was a sister to our house and they're connected. And I look over and there's my next door neighbor, Frank. And he's holding up Casper. I heard him too. Trat, I had the right address, but I was off by one doorway. Now I was stuck in the arms of the wrong person. Not my new home. What was I going to do? I guess I could put him in my house for the night, but I might forget about him. If I remember, I'll take him to the SPCA. And I kind of got scared. Frank was sort of the forgetful type. And I was afraid that this baby cat would not be found and be forgotten about at his house. I also knew that Frank had no pets and we had cat food, we had cat litter, and it was way too cold for any animal to be surviving outside that night. So I took Casper in. We thought he was a few weeks old, maybe a, maybe like a month or two. Uh, it turns out he was probably about four months old at the time, but he was tiny. Um, he's still pretty small for a cat. And he stayed in my bathroom for two weeks. And what we found out in those two weeks was that he was playful, that he was loving, he was sweet. Um, we tried to give him away to friends. We tried to find his home. We, we thought for sure he had to be somebody's kitten. 
and somebody would be missing their cat. Uh, so we looked for an owner. And at the same time, we thought that this cat is way too cool to be in a shelter, but we already had two dogs and we had a cat. Um, he stayed in the bathroom because we didn't know if he had any diseases. We didn't want him to make our old cat any sicker and we didn't want um, the dogs to get anything. So we didn't know that much about him. And then it got kind of silly that after two weeks he was still with us. I took him to the vet. We were still looking for an owner or somebody to take him. Um, in the meantime, my cat Tupelo had passed away. And the vet said, you are never gonna find a cat this cool again. He's kind of one of those awesome cats and they're not usually this gentle. And that is how Casper came to stay with us. <laughs> Did I have a choice? Mm, no. I just showed up out of nowhere. And then they decided to keep him, so fine. Just leave me alone. I'm busy. And he's been our cat ever since. He's moved to our new house with us. He's had another dog uh, brother since then. Um, when Izzy passed away, my greyhound, we bought, we got another greyhound, rescued another greyhound, and his name was Adam. Unfortunately, last year at the start of school in 2018, he passed away. Mm-hmm. I've got no comment. I leave all my talking on the track. Mm-hmm. That's where it's at. On the track. Oh, me? Oh, I love the kid. Thanks for asking. Oh, I love that kitten. He's, he's my brother from another mother. We're good friends, you know? We help each other out. I love him. He's a good guy. Good guy. We still have Casper. My godson named him Casper. We thought he should be Thomas, as all cats should be probably British. Um, and 007s and Secret Service agents. So, that's the story of how Casper came to be. Lived in a bathroom, lived outside, haunted us, and he's our little love. So, anyway, that is Casper, Casper Thomas, as we like to call him. Hello, say hello. And that's the end. Question of the day today is going to be, do you have any pets? And if you do, how do you take care of them? Do you help out? Where did you get your pet? And if you don't have any pets, maybe you're allergic, maybe your family doesn't have one, what type of pet would you want if you could have a pet? And how would you help take care of it? Because that's really important. They need a lot of food, they need water, they need love, they need exercise. So what would you do? Can't wait to see your answers. I'll be talking to you in the comments. And don't forget we have an office hour later today from four to five. Talk to you then, bye-bye.